Cubs. Today is Wednesday, September 21st, 2022. I'm Miss Leite. And I'm Mrs. Colhane. Welcome to the Cub Report, your daily source of information about what's going on here at Park. The Cub Report is our way of letting students, staff, and families know everything that is going on at Park and to create a better connection among everyone. For lunch today, we will have... This week is Seize the Awkward Week. It can be awkward to talk about your friends about mental health struggles, but it can really help. See if you can find all of the posters that are hung up around the school reminding you to seize the awkward. Students, if you're interested in the Yearbook Club but you weren't able to make the meetings on Monday or Wednesday, you have another chance tomorrow morning. Come to Mrs. Hicks' room in Portable 1B to pick up your permission form and hear more about your book club. Students and staff, remember there is no school this Friday, September 23rd. Hi, I'm Mrs. Gunter. I'm the choir teacher at Ken Oak High School and at Park Middle School. Please join us today. We need your voice. It makes a difference. Tomorrow, our web leaders are hosting a movie day for 6th graders after school from 2.45 to 4.15 p.m. There will be popcorn and lemonade too. If you're a sixth grader and want to stay for the movie, you'll need to get a permission form signed by a parent or guardian. Pick up a permission form in the lunchroom during sixth grade lunch and bring it back tomorrow. Again, this is only for sixth grade students and you must have a permission form signed to attend. Remember that Gear Up Club and After School Tutorial are now going on after school. Gear Up Club is for 8th graders only and tutorial is for all grades. You will need a permission form signed to attend either of these activities after school. 6th graders interested in joining <laughs> band, please remember to talk to Mr. Sanders in the band room in the hallway near the gym. We have just started an online fundraiser to raise money for ASB. Scan this QR code on your phone to get the website easily. The direct link will also be posted on the Park Middle School Facebook or it can be found in our bio on Instagram. This fundraiser is completely online and is a fundraiser where people can support Park without purchasing any items. We rely on fundraising to support all of our extracurricular activities at Park and hope this will be an easy way to let others support Park as well. Please share this QR code with parents, friends, and families so that we can raise money for our school. It's time for our sports update. The Park girls soccer team played their first game of the season against Highlands this Monday. Park came back from being down 2-1 to one and went and won the game 6-2 to two with a complete team effort. Nora McGee and Sarai Lozada were a fearsome duo. Every Park player ran hard and made an impact in the game. Goals came from Amelia, Jimena, and Cassandra. The team learned a great deal from the game. Their next game is today versus Enterprise. JV Boys Soccer played a great game against Chinook on Monday. Michael and Derek each scored a goal for Park, and the whole team played hard and represented Park well. We're proud of you, Cubs. Coach Blake's volleyball team, led by captains Genesis and Bethany, won their match Monday against Highlands. They came together to have two amazing volleys and went crazy cheering for each other. Coach Blake loved their support and encouragement of one another. They also did a great job not making a big deal of the score being very off in the third game when the scorekeepers started putting our score on the opposite team's side. It wasn't noticed until it had been going on for a while, but our park team continued to present themselves as respectful representatives of the park. Spotlight on Lexani, Eileen, and Naomi for some great serves. We're proud of you, Cubs. The early volleyball teams had their second match against Highlands on Monday. The man Cubs defeated Highlands in all three sets, 25 to 16, 25 to 11, and 15 to seven. The girls played hard and demonstrated everything they have learned so far, including the difficulty of the 6-2 setter rotation. Some exciting highlights from this match were great serves by Sharice Knox, seven in a row, and Altiana Libokmeto, 10 in a row. Nice job, ladies. Amazing defense by Brisa Flores and Valerie Castro. The skill, teamwork, and dedication to the game continue to improve with every match, and Coach Mann is so proud of how much each player has grown. The Greer girls had to fight hard through all three sets and ended up winning the game 25-21 and 15-10. It was a fantastic game with a lot of long rallies. The girls are really showing how to work as a team and apply what they have been learning. There were many great plays last night, but Isabella Granados had amazing plays and saves in all three sets. There was also some tough defense from Guadalupe, Eileen, Yasmin, and Naomi. Fantastic serving all night from Isabella, Naomi, Yasmin, and Guadalupe. It was a great game to watch, and Coach Greer is so proud of each of you. Coach Mann and Coach Greer are so proud and encouraged by each of you and cannot wait to see your continued improvement as the season continues. Way to go, ladies. 
Our early volleyball teams have games this afternoon here at Park against Desert Hills. Games will be at 4 and 5.15 p.m. Our cross country team has a meet at Hanson Park in Kennewick at 4 p.m. Girls soccer has a game against Enterprise at 5 p.m. here at Park and Varsity Boys soccer plays against Chinook at 4 p.m. here at Park. Good luck tonight, Cubs. The cub report can be found online by going to www.youtube.com slash parkmiddleschoolcubs. If you have any thoughts, suggestions, or shout outs for the cub report, send them to bit.ly slash parkcubreport submission. That's all for today, cubs. Have a great day, and remember, all children are capable of success. No, no exceptions. exceptions.